how special to sit at a table which was set just so, yet even more special for the one who sets it, didn't you know? There is an art to setting a beautiful tablescape. There is a flow. Study any etiquette book, a picture perhaps, no doubt a place setting in a lovely chateau. An effort put forth of good graces once learned, each time utilized, appreciation surely performed. So open that old hutch, heirlooms of generations before. Shine up the silverware tarnished, hiding in that drawer. Sort through the sideboard stuffed with linens galore, ease of use will garner its own reward. Each day is to be celebrated, there are candles to be lit, every face aglow and tabletop decorated. The holidays are upon us, but never let that be. The only time we showcase this art and love to oneself, our friends, or our family. Hello ladies, welcome back. It's another lady of the house kind of day and I wanted to share with you the disaster that is my sideboard, my buffet table, whatever you would like to call it. I have been using this dresser right here that at one point I had purchased for our master bedroom, but I like all the drawers in it to be able to use for a lot of the items that I use to set the table with. So I'm going to show you how this has turned into a big mess you know, sometimes when things are just out and not put away, sometimes we can end up just shoving things in different drawers and spaces and cabinets. Um, so that is what has happened since the last time that I cleaned out these drawers, which I'm sure that I shared on here. So that's how long it's been. But I also want to share how to set a table beautifully because there is an art when it comes to setting the table. and. I really enjoyed the cruise that we had recently gone on and the main dining room and just how beautiful it was, how well set the table was and everything about it. So anyway, with all of the holidays coming up and you know, you, you might be having a lot of company over, it's really nice to have a place to put all of those items that you use to set the table. Not necessarily all the dishes, just because we typically have a designated space for our dishes in the kitchen, but um, other things, the extra things that you would use for setting a beautiful table, like salt and pepper shakers, um, extra you know fancy silverware if you use something different napkins especially cloth napkins if you like to use cloth na napkins i love using cloth napkins just for everyday use any dinner um, unless it's something really really messy i might use paper but i mean it usually it's not something that a little arm and hammer baking soda or um what, what do you call it? OxyClean couldn't take out. So um, that's not too big of a deal. But also where your tablecloths go and then um, just a variety of things. But I will share you, I will share with you how even though having all those drawers, it can get pretty messy, but it's time to clean it out. This is my acting buffet table. I have a cake stand, a little candle over there, and then a clock. And 
Something else that I it's keep this on. salt and pepper shaker and just, it, you know, what you would have vinegar and oil and, and um, little place for jam maybe. Um, and I need to tighten this on there, but that was an antique find. So I really love having that because I don't keep salt and pepper on the table all the time, but it's easy just to pick up and bring over to the table, especially in the morning for breakfast. And uh, then just to be able to, it corrals everything and it looks beautiful. Okay, so let's start with this side. This side is my candles where I keep all the candles. I order these on Amazon. Um, and then I have also just tea lights and candles that have burned down pretty low. I didn't want to get rid of these yet because I use them from time to time um, if I want, here's what I do. Okay, if I'm going to be having company over, I like to start out with fresh candles. And then by the time everybody leaves, I blow them out. Oftentimes they don't even last um, the whole time, you know, when we're talking. So um, they will end up burning completely out. But when I get these little nubs like this, I just keep them in case I'm going to film a video or something. I like to have them in my office. So I will just grab those instead of using brand new ones. And then, um, you know, the wall plug-ins, stuff like this. I feel that, and there are votive holders back there. So, I mean, this is for some lights that we have. And I think the Christmas tree one, this one, this one's for our Christmas tree. So that's back there too. Okay, so that, that one's okay. That one's decent. Oh my, okay, so we have cords. For computers don't know why that's in here but like I said this ends up just becoming a junk drawer and it doesn't need to be a junk drawer so I have I've just used this little box that uh, probably lotions came in for the salt and pepper shakers that way all that stuff doesn't get on on that area down there I have name name cards right there i have uh what is this oh that's to a game so a lot of game pieces and and batteries and you know just things like that end up in here and then over here goodness i clearly i did not look in here before i am showing you all of this but um a lot to clean out so i am going to get to work and just share with you what everything looks like once i'm done Wow. Okay. This, everything. I feel like there are drawers that I use all the time in here that I keep pretty um, neat and exactly what's in there. But then the ones that I don't use often, I have, uh, we've ended up stuffing other things in there. And so down here I have all the napkins that I use. I feel that I can definitely go through all these napkins because. I use these ones the most or these ones because of the material that they are. They don't stain as quickly as these ones do and they um, they don't need to be ironed. They're great. And I found these ones at Home Goods. I would love to get different colors of these ones. And then these, my subscriber Linda, um, she gave me these so... I just, I love this color as well, but I would like to get some other colors, but in this kind of material. So I am going to be on the hunt for those. I'll keep these until I replace them. And then I have this drawer, which I will share with you once I'm done and have everything organized, what I decide to keep in everything.
well that feels really good it didn't take that long at all and i now have a more organized space for my candles i have everything just kind of in their category there with a lighter i think it's important to have that on hand I have my salt and pepper over here still, and this drawer didn't change much, but I did clean that out, took out things that didn't belong. Um, this is the goldware that I had that was my Grammys, and um, it's actually like the backs, the finish is wearing off, so they're not that great to use often, but I still have it for now until I replace them. I have this silver cake server which I just think is best to keep in here. I was, I had had it in my kitchen in one of the utensil drawers, but because it's rarely used or I use it out here, I just think this is a better spot for it. And then right here I have plastic wear, which is what we would use for a potluck or maybe a birthday party. Okay, I moved some things around. So I have napkins right in this drawer now instead of reaching all the way to the bottom. I still have my tablecloths right here. The ones for the round table, the little round table that I have, I have two tablecloths for those. I just rolled them up in the back there. And then I have a runner right here, which is for like the springtime or Easter. So. I don't have many things when it comes to holidays. I like to use those things that I have um, often and for just all throughout the year if possible. But this was cute to me at the time when I found it and I still, I like the fabric and just the color was nice. It added a little bit of color. I would love to add um, something that is a little bit more appropriate for the holiday season when it comes to napkins. I was even thinking of replacing these yellow ones and these teal ones, like I said, possibly these ones as well, just because the white that they are, I don't care for. I'd like more of like a softer white or cream color. Um, anyway, napkins in here and then in the back there, I do have um, some napkins that match the tablecloths, um, the round ones. So I just don't use those as frequently. And then down in this bottom left drawer, I have all the party supplies and paper napkins, paper plates. So paper products and banners, things to decorate and the candles. And then down here, I just have the tea sets, the miniature tea sets. Um, and I like to just keep them down here. I keep my normal size teacups in my kitchen in the cabinets in there, but this just felt like if I had everything out, it would look crowded and it was overwhelming to me. So I ended up just putting them in the drawer here. I still have some things to deal with over here. Um, this is something that's actually going to my mom right now. So I need to take that out to her. I have pictures and picture frames right here that I don't have a place that I'm putting them currently. I would love to get a floating shelf and I have an idea of where I would put that. So I'm just kind of keeping those on hand until I have that done. And then this bin right here, I decided to use to corral all the things that were inside of that, of this um, buffet table that the kids need to go through. The kids need to figure out all of these things. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of my returning subscribers. Your continued support and kind words are an inspiration to me. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful.